What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool back here again for Practical Machinists and welcome back to our live coverage of East Tech 2025. We're here at track with my friend Brian. Ian, how are you? Thank Great you very much for joining us today. Yeah, you're welcome. Now, Thank what you. are we Happy looking at here at the show today? So we have a track K3 knee mill here. It's got the KMX two axis control. Uh, it's available in a three axis as well. Uh, the K3 is a, a versatile Swiss Army knife of the machine shop. Uh, you can run it 100% manually, program it two axis. We can also put a third axis on it too. Uh, and also change the KMX control to an RMX control as well that you'll see on some of the other equipment that we have here today. So this is not only a good entry point for some people who may be looking to add a bit more capability, it's also kind of doing dual duty in the shop. So exactly. I can just do manual stuff if I want, but hey, do you know what? I need to do a bolt hole circle much easier to do here than trying to pitch that out. So simple. You program a bolt hole pattern in less than a minute, set it up, run it. By the time you get your rotary table out to cut your bolt hole pattern, I'll have a program to cut here. And it's funny, we were down in uh, Connecticut a couple of years ago, Aerospace Alley, where they're doing high, high-end aerospace stuff. You'd be surprised that they have probably 10 of these things in there yes. alongside the other machines. There's a lot of utility you can get out of these. Oh, for sure. Conversationally programmed to some of those high-end aerospace parts. You can use the AG profile event here and uh, get to the end result pretty quickly. Is this one that you can actually pull in the DXF as well, or is that just uh, the RMX controller? You can on the RMX control. Right. So the KMX, you can program that offline and then send the file to the control. Is that an RMX over there? Why don't we take that a peek at that one? Yes. I want to see this. Sure. Come on over. So this kind of looks like the bigger brother to the one that was over there. Correct. We sell uh, DPM RX2, 3, 5, and 7, different size machines. They're all three axis uh, bed mills that can be run 100% manually, two axis and three axis. Uh, and it comes standard with the RMX control here. Now this um, controller, I've had a bit of fun playing around with this because I have one of the BMC 2s uh, in my shop. Oh yes. You'd be surprised if you haven't run one of these before, how powerful that software is. You don't usually see that in a controller. Oh, it's, it's awesome. So we have the auto geometry engine here. We also have the uh, clear off event where you can use the adaptive tool path and come from the outside of the part and work inward. Uh, send a DXF parasolid G-code program right over to it. You got the best of both worlds here. And you uh, can see here, you guys not only do full three axis, but oh, yeah. you can do 3D machining on a machine like this. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's where you're going to send over the GCO file right to the control, do your 3D surfacing, uh, but then take that part out and then run it just like a manual machine too. So, so you need to pop a couple holes in the back, away you go. Exactly. I like these, they're fun. Yeah. Awesome. And this one over here is, I guess, the bigger, bigger brother to the first one. Yes. So here we got a 40 by 20 machine, a little bit more horsepower, Cat 40 tooling, and then we have an additional DPM RX-7, one, much, one bigger than this too, gives you a little bit more capacity. So that's a Cat 40 holder, so I could take a holder out of here, run it in that machine, bring it back, whatever I need to do. I didn't realize these were Cat 40. Yes, Cat 40 or BT, depending on what your uh, tooling that you have in shop, but same as your machining center. And this, no has, this one comes with that same RMX control that we just saw over there, correct? Exactly. Same high end, uh, you know, you get your um, manual operation, but then you can get into the 3D profiling as well, just like you did over there on the DPM RX3. One thing that's super cool about these two, all your feed oh, yeah. rates and spindle RPM, yes. it's a touch screen, so you can just adjust it as you yes. go. Giving you full control at the, at the machine. The other cool thing about these, there's a feature called tracking, correct? Yes. Where you can actually step through the program, almost yes. like with a hand wheel. Yes, for sure. If I was to run start go on my program, and instead of hitting the go button and hoping for the best, I can use the tracking feature here by pressing tracking and actually use one handle here and run it, my entire program by tracking through the part here. It's kind of a safety thing also if you got a little sketch of your setup, you're doing something with thin walls. Oh. You know, it's... You're not sure about the part lifting out of the vise. You right? can kind of give it just when it's going through that little yes. spot you're worried about, you can kind of yes. step it through. Yes. The one thing about the track is it keeps the operator in control. You know, you get a big box style CNC machine tool without a track control on it, you're always doing the feed override and holding your finger two step in it. Here I can grab the handle and just run through the whole entire Figure Finger two step, that's exactly yep. what it is. Go stop, go stop, go exactly. stop, and it crashed. Yes. Now this one over here, when we get into sure. the actual more box style, this is a full CNC mill. Am I correct on that? That is correct. It's the only CNC, it's the only CNC machining center on the market that we can run two axis, three axis, and then four axis additional too. Right oh, on the you control. guys make your own four axis. That's correct. Oh wow. So here we have electronic hand wheels. It runs just like the DPM bed mills that we showed you over here. Uh, but in addition to that, we have a Z-axis hand wheel, 
Oh. As well, so if we're in DRO mode and we can bring the Z down here, we can pull this third axis handle out here and then have full control over a Z. I've never seen yeah. that before. That's yeah. awesome. And it works. It works really well. It's kind so. of, although it looks like a you know, more box style machine, it has full tool room capability for when you need to do that kind of work. Exactly. We have a switch here to go from tool room ops to production ops. In tool room ops, I can run it with the doors open in two axis mode or three, grab the handles and do what I got to do. The other thing I think is interesting to point out is, you know, we use cam software. We also program in here. When we first put our ProtoTrack on the floor, the sure. VMC2, we started out doing a lot of G-code, just bringing it across. Yes. Once you get good with this, most people actually almost prefer to work inside the track program. Yes, you, I, I agree with you. We can take in, if you have that, you want to program on the G-code, you can bring it in as cam, turn it into conversational events, and then you have the ability to go in and edit those conversational events right in the control. And it's quick. It's real yes, quick to do. Very easy navigation. Now we're going to keep this moving because you sure. guys have too much stuff to see here. Sounds good. This one, of course, I wanted to touch on. This is my baby, the VMC2. Absolutely love this machine. Oh, and this one's already sold already. It is, yes. It's a good thing about being here at East Tech. Now these machines, the one thing I really like about them is if you pull this forward like this, you can see there's actually nothing up either side. Yes. You can stack three of these things in a row, four of them in a row, which you guys have out in California. Yes, we stack them up and use them as a little cell. It was funny, we saw you know, where you'd have maybe a machine that size, you guys had two or three of those in a row celled up with a lathe on the other side. Right. So three spindles in the place of one, really. Yes. Right, and even if the guy only keeps it running 80% of the time, he's getting 180% spindle usage out of that date. Yes, 100%. And as you know, we talk about the footprint, it's a 30 by 54 footprint, very small footprint. So 30 inches wide, you can fit three of those in the same spot as one of those, like you said. My other favorite part about it is this actually plugs into essentially a welding plug if you want to. Yes, you can run at 110, 220, or 440. Here's so we, power went, we put a few welding plugs around the shop. So we can oh, just, if we want this with a lathe one day, yes. pick it up, move it with a pallet jack. Yes. And then we want it another spot the next day, you move it there. Exactly. It is portable. We do, you can pick it up on all four sides. You can pick it up and put it right up against the machine. And when you need to service it, pull it right out, do your service work, and stuff it back in. Easy peasy. Yeah, very good. One thing I did want to touch on, you guys actually have some partnership coming with Toolpath right now. Yes, we partner with Toolpath Labs. Uh, this is Paul from Toolpath Labs, actually. Hey, and, uh, nice he's, to meet you. He's here doing a little presentation of how Toolpath can help with estimating, uh, help take a program from Toolpath Labs and stick it into the ProtoTrack with a lot of AI uh, interface and not a lot of end user uh, input at the control. Getting your spindles moving faster, keeping parts coming off yes. the line. Fair well, enough. Now, I did want to touch on this one over here. This is something I haven't seen on a track machine before. That's actually a five axis in there. This is, yes, this is this is new for track machine tools, but this is a track VMC SI with a Siemens Sinomeric one control. We have three plus two trunnion on the table, and uh, this is the, the latest and greatest that we have here. That is a nice looking trunnion too. And you guys actually manufacture those yourselves as well. Yes, this is manufactured at our facility in California here. Uh, and it's, it's, new to, it's new to us right now. One thing I think that's super, super cool, if you guys check out our tour on when we actually went through the facility, is you guys pretty much build these machines from the ground up. You guys actually build the electronics. You guys were making the hand wheels. You're doing everything on track machines. Yes, we have a full machine shop at our factory in Rancho Dominguez, California. Uh, we do all our electrical assemblies, electrical repairs, uh, troubleshooting. If you have an old component on a 30 year prototype, you can send it back to our factory and uh, get it rebuilt. And you guys might even have one on the shelf. When we were there, the oh. amount of support and legacy products you guys still stock yes. for people that need them is unreal. It is. It's, we're probably one of the few in the industry that can do it, and uh, you can most most of the time ship same day. Same day? Yes. You're not keeping that machine down for long if no. something goes wrong. No. Exactly. And if people want to find out more about this machine and all track machines, where can they go? Track machine tools, uh, track.com. And of course, yes. you can come visit them live here at ESEC. So if you're at the show, make sure you stop by. Thank you very much for joining us today. Ian, thank you. I appreciate it. And make sure you guys stay tuned as we continue our live coverage of ESEC 2025. You take care.